friends welcome back to our youtube channel today we have to discuss about nptel problem solving through programming in c week 11 programming assignment the due date for week 11 programming assignment is 13 12 2022 program 1 the velocity of a car at a different time instant is given as the first row contains time the second row contains velocity a linear lagrange interpolant is found using these data points write a c program to find the velocity of the car at different time instants first in the main function so we are taking an floating point array that is a t with the size is 100 that floating point array t can be initialized with 10 15 18 22 30 and we are taking another floating point array that is v with the size is 100 but initialized with five elements 22 26 35 48 68 and another variable a can be declared as floating point variable now so that variable a can be defined as the test cases that how many number of test cases you want that value can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function next one i and j variables can be declared as integer variables b c can be declared as floating point variables and k value also declared as a floating point variable uh, and that can be initialized with a zero okay so this is the lagrange interpotent uh, logic okay so once we are writing this uh, logic so after that the respective value of the variable b is printed k value is printed so now save as a draft click on compile and run button so compilation passed public test cases 2 by 2 passed next test case 1 input value is 25 expected output is the respective value of the variable b is 56.42 actual output is the respective value of the variable b is 56.42 both actual output and expected output both are equal then we can say that status is positive next public test case 2 input value is a 16 the respective value of the variable b is 28.74 the respective value of the variable b is 28.74 both actual output is equal to the expected output then we can say the status is positive so after that click on submit button so see this one test case one is passed now we can go for another program so whenever you require that uh, code that code can be written in comment box please use that code in the comment box whenever it is required next go for second program write a c program to find integral a to b x square dx using trapezoidal trapezoidal rule with 10 segments between a and b the values of a and b will be taken from the test cases so here this is the function prototype in the main function variable n can be declared as integer variable that can be initialized with 10 so that means n is equal to 10 means 10 sub intervals next a b integral variables can be declared as floating point a variable next one here initial limit taken from the keyboard that value is stored in variable a so by using scanf function next 
final limit value can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function here this is the a value this is the b value so this is the initial limit this is the final limit next one this is the logic for trapezoidal uh, rule so this is the logic okay i am i am explaining uh, this logic it is uh, somewhat a little bit difficult so that so use this code next save as a draft click on compile and run button so see this one compilation passed public test cases 2 by 2 passed public test case one i am giving a value is 0 p value is 1 so the integral is 0.335 triple 0 actual output is the integral is 0.335 triple 0 both actual output is equal to the expected output then status is passed in the public test case 2 a value is 1 b value is 3 then expected output is the integral is 8.6840 actual output is the integral is 8.6840 both actual output and expected output both are equal then we can say the status is passed then click on the submit button so this one test case one is passed so now we can go for the third program write a c program to check whether the given input number is prime number or not using a recursion so the input is an integer and output should print whether that integer is prime or not note that you have to use a recursion whenever uh, four programs code is required please visit the uh, comment box okay next one so here i am using function prototype is check prime that can take two integers and its data type is int in the main function so num and check are two integer variables num variable value can be uh, read from the keyboard by using scanf function and this is the calling function that calling function can take two parameters so according to the function prototype num comma num by 2 num is nothing but we have to check whether the given number is prime or not and the second parameter is that number is divided with 2 next one if check equal to equal to 1 suppose here this check value is equal to the 1 so we can say that printf percentage d is a prime number so if check value is not equal to 1 condition is failed so then control goes to the else block and printf percentage d is not a prime number now the control goes from calling function to called function this is the called function int check prime int num comma int i suppose if i equal to equal to 1 so then we can return 1 if i equal to equal to 1 condition false the control goes to the else block in the else block here if num modulus operator i equal to equal to 0 so if this condition is uh, true so then it can return 0 value if this condition is false then go to the else block return check prime num comma i minus 1 so this is the uh, recursive function because here the function can be call the function can call the same function within the body of the function can be called as a recursive function so this function can be called again and again until this condition is false okay so this is the simple recursive function to check whether the given number is prime or not now we have to click on save as draft and click on compile and run button and see this one compilation passed public test cases 2 by 2 passed 
test case 1 input value is a 13 given number is 13 expected output is 13 is a prime number actual output is 13 is a prime number both actual output and expected output are equal then we can say that status is positive in test case 2 input value given is 40 expected output is uh, 40 is not a prime number actual output is 40 is not a prime number both actual output is equal to the expected output then we can say that status is positive then click on submit button so see this one so both the test case 1 is passed and the test case 2 is also passed now we can go for fourth program if you require the code of the uh, above three programs please check the comment box for that video next fourth program write a c program to reverse a word using recursion input to the program is a string that is to be taken from the user and the output is reverse of the input word note that you have to use the recursion so this is the function prototype so in the main function i am declaring one character array that name is str with the size is max and i am taking another character pointer array that is rev next first uh, the string can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function now here we are calling a function called uh, reverse reverse of str once we are reversing the characters within the string that can be assigned to the variable on the left hand side that is rev next one so the control goes from calling function to called function so here uh, reverse char pointer str okay next one in that uh, body of that function first static int i equal to 0 so i am declaring variable i as integer and it is a static variable now static char rev of 100 i am taking another uh, character array that is rev with the size is 100 now if a uh, pointer str so str is a string this condition is a true the control goes to the body of the uh, if block reverse of str plus 1 so then whatever the characters within the uh, str that can be assigned to the uh, another array that is rev after that i value is incremented every time one character from str can be assigned to the rev then i value is incremented now here str plus 1 is nothing but every string is end with a slash 0 character so that we have to use uh, this one so once all the characters within the str can be assigned to the rev so then so this condition is false then the control goes to the next statement after the uh, re after the if block return rev okay so now rev contains the reverse of the string that can be send it from called function to calling function that can be assigned to the variable on the left hand side that is rev now we have to print the uh, reversed string that is rev so now we have to save click on save as a draft and click on compile and run button so see this one compilation passed public test cases 2 by 2 passed uh, here uh, test case 1 input given correct poor expected output is the reverse string is r u p g a r a h k actual output is the reverse string is r u p g a r a h k both actual output and expected output are equal then we can say that status is passed in test case 2 input given as a string indian expected output is the reverse string is n a i d n i the reverse string is n a i d n i both actual output is equal to the expected output then we can say that status is passed 
then click on submit so see this one test case one is positive okay so this is the week 11 programming assignment that contains four programs now this pro programs code is available in the comment box of the corresponding uh, video so thank you friends if you really like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel Divella Srinivasarao if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section I will try to clarify your doubts in the next video I am giving week 11 assignment answers okay so waiting for that video thank you thank you for watching this video after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel thank you thank you one and all for watching this video